Hey everyone, I'm Angela. Welcome to Silver Linings. This video today was inspired by one of my subscribers. And she had said something about my white hair in a recent review and something about I wish mine could look like yours. And I remember thinking, oh my, if you knew what I do to make it look how it looks today. And this isn't even really the best that it can look. Um, but if you knew what I did, then I think it, depending upon how much hair that you have, you could do it too. And that's why I thought, you know what, I'm going to take the time. I'm going to make this video. And if it helps one person, then it helps one person. And I don't mean to sound Pollyanna or any of that stuff, but that is what happened for me when I started watching YouTube videos. I got the help that I need. I found some products that helped me and I don't use them all the time because you could see it, it's a lot. But if I wanna have my hair look, look a little special, I at least know what products to reach for and that don't hurt my hair and that, that don't hurt my health. So I want to thank you, you know who you are, uh, who wrote that comment to me because it inspired me to make this video for all of you out there. Now listen, one more thing. I know that a lot of people feel that as we women age, we should cut our hair off. If that's you, I respect that. But for me, I am really enjoying having my long hair. And welcome to my first ever edition of Sunday Spa. Going forward, Sunday Spa will be featured every other week and is dedicated to silver gray white natural hair. Silver gray and white natural hair presents very special challenges, especially if you don't have a lot of it. And I'm hoping to help those of you, my subscribers, who have expressed an interest in how I care for my own white hair. So again, these episodes will be featured every other Sunday and they'll be fully dedicated to the care of our natural silver gray and white hair. Now let's begin with this very first episode of Sunday Spa and the care of our natural silver gray and white hair right here right now on Silver Linings. So what you're looking at is about three to four day old unwashed hair. Sometimes I can get away with washing it only once a week if I haven't had a lot of physical activity or summer and sweating and all of that. But by and large, this is how my hair looks just before I wash it. So I want to do a spin for you and show you what I deal with. Okay, so there's the back view. Obviously, it's very white. I'm going to tell you everything that I put on it, put in it, treat it with. So here, right here, is my problem area. If I, if I, when I wake up in the morning, that area right there, that will totally be flat. And you can see that's the cowlick. And you can see where my hair splits. Most people have that. I guess if your hair is super thick, you don't have that, but I do. And I truly dislike that part of my hair. Okay, so that's how it looks from the back. Now, let me see if I can get up close for you so you can see uh, what I deal with. First of all, I want to say I'm very thankful that I even have hair. There was a time I wasn't sure if I was going to have anything in this area at all. When the thinning first started, this was even thinner up here than it is now. It's been thin for many years. Okay, so if I part it down the middle, and you're gonna see right now my scalp does not look super pink. When I get out of the shower, when I do this again, you're gonna see my, my scalp looks very pink. That's before I put any product at all in it. Okay, and I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side of those two graphics. Right, so then here is the my hair parted on the right side. And here is my hair 
parted on the left side. Okay, so you can see that it's not very full, very straight, but it's very uneven, <laughs> needs a good trimming, but that's what I deal with. Okay, heading into the shower now, be back, and then I'll tell you what I do in the shower. I will tell you at this point that immediately after I wash it, I towel it dry and then I put Olaplex on it and the Olaplex stays on my head for about 15-20 minutes. And by the way, the only thing that I have on my skin right now, color correcting cream. And I have that on because SPF 50, I always throw that on immediately after I moisturize in the morning, even if I wear no makeup, so that my skin is protected. And the only other thing that I have on is Sexy Mother Pucker. That always makes me laugh. Our kids gave, gave that to me. They thought it was a hoot for Christmas. And I love this. And I just keep that on my lips through the day, keeps them hydrated. And this is called Plum Plums Up. Plums Up. And it's the big container. I think I got it on Amazon. Okay, going to take the shower. Be back. Okay, so I just got out of the shower and I'm going to take you through every step that I did in the shower. I wasn't going to take you in the shower with me. <laughs> I know some people do that, but I will never do that. Okay, um, so the very first thing I did was I washed my hair with a clarifying shampoo and I like to use Neutrogena. And one of the reasons that I do that is because I do, during the week, I do put a lot of product in my, in my hair. And I want everything off of my scalp. I want a perfectly clean scalp. Then after my hair is all clean from that first step, then I use these two products together. Balayage, recommended by Jack Martin, the hair colorist. And the shampoo is purple. It's quite purple. You see that? So because it is so thick and so purple, what I do is I take one generous pump of the shampoo because my hair is thin. I don't need a lot of it. And I take one, about one and a half pumps of the conditioner and I mix them together and that comes out to make a really pretty kind of a lavender color this light lavender color now here's the thing I don't put that on the top of my scalp I t tip my head over and I take that purple and shampoo that has been mixed with the conditioner after I've tipped my head over and I work from the bottom of my the nape of my neck up and I just massage that into the nape of my neck. With the clarifying shampoo, I forgot to say, I only put this on the scalp, like the top and the sides, the upper sides of, of my head, because that's really where I need it. That's where the buildup is, okay? So the Neutrogena shampoo, the clarifying first, followed by one pump of the balayage, and one and a half pumps of the conditioner. I think it might have been Jack Martin, the colorist. I heard somewhere, someone that I trusted, that if you mix the shampoo with the conditioner, um, the, sh the conditioner isn't going to leave your hair so limp and so soft that you can't style it. And I have found that to really be true. Olaplex. And you can see that this container is pretty much almost empty. I have to buy another one. I think this is really, really great stuff. Now I'm going to take the towel off my head and I'm going to show you how the hair looks with the Olaplex on it. Now I probably used a good, well, there was about a half of an inch left in the bottle, in, in this container. I used all of it. There's only a teeny tiny bit left 
you can see there tiny bit left and I'll probably add some water to that <clears throat> excuse me and use it as a conditioner in a week or so just to use up the remainder okay so let's take the towel off I'm just blotting for extra water and the Olaplex is still on my hair it's coming off in about another 10 minutes now why would I even bother showing you this because you can't really tell that it's Olaplex well I want you to see the hair just every step of the way it's full of that Olaplex conditioner so I'm just gonna rub that in a little bit more make sure it's really well incorporated I did that in the shower as well but here you can start to see the sparseness of my hair and remember I told you earlier that I would show you that and I'm going to show it to you after my hair is dry as well okay so there it all is or the lack thereof I'm going to put the towel back on my head and I'll see you momentarily. Okay, so I've just come back from rinsing off the Olaplex off of my hair. And after I rinsed off the Olaplex, I shampooed my whole head with Design Line Super Silver Shampoo. Now this shampoo is a purple shampoo, but for whatever reason, it doesn't leave your hair purple. I've never been able to figure that out. I left it on a long time, uh, one time way in the beginning when I started to use it and it did not turn my hair purple. Matter of fact, when the gal at the salon told me about it, I was a little worried because I said, I don't want purple hair. I, you know, if I want to color in my hair, I'll put a little tiny bit, but that, you know, maybe behind my ear, but I don't want a full head of purple or blue hair or pink hair or green hair. That's just me. <laughs> you want to do it, great. So after I used this product for the shampoo, then I put on a conditioner. Now, this is not a regular conditioner. I don't know what's in this stuff, but it makes your hair sparkle. And I am not kidding, and not a fake looking sparkle. It just catches the light. It's absolutely beautiful, and it's blue. Now, I don't know whether it's the reaction of the blue with the purple and it does something on the hair shaft. I don't know. I'm not a chemist. But I can only tell you that when I use this, look, I use it so much that the writings come off. Um, when I use this, it just, I just love the combination. I love the combination. So, and there it is. It's blue, so you can see it. And I leave this on three to five minutes, and then I will go in and I'll rinse it off. And then, after I'm towel dried, then I will put my product in to beef up my hair and make it look fuller. And that will be the next segment. Now, I want to just say right at this point that, oh, before I forget, I don't know what, what your eye is seeing, but my hair in the mirror here and in the monitor has a very light cast of blue. Pale, pale, the palest, palest palest, palest blue. When I first put it on, it looked really, really blue. But then when I combed it in, you can hardly see it now. And that will totally be gone. That blue cast will totally be gone. You'll see when I rinse it out. So I'll be back after everything's out. We'll do segment three, put the product in. Okay, so I have washed the Olaplex out of my hair. I have shampooed it with the Design Silver shampoo and I have conditioned it with Design Silver shampoo. So here's the first look after removing the towel. And you can see that we're not seeing any blue, we're not seeing any purple. But now, remember in the very beginning, let me grab a comb, and I mentioned that I would show you my scalp and how my scalp, when it's perfectly clean, is quite pink. 
So I want you to be able to see closely. And I'll explain why as I go. All right, so I think in the beginning I split it down the middle. This is where I am the most sparse. Right there. If I come down on the right side, again, pink scalp. I really do not like that pink scalp. And then on the left, again, you can see a lot of pink scalp and I have this little red mark. It's nothing serious. I've had it looked at, but I've had it for years and years and years. Okay, now let's turn around and let's look at the back. I'm going to need my glasses for this. And again, I really haven't combed entirely through it yet. I've just, I'm just letting you see basically the crown area. Okay, now there's my big problem area right there. And again, we're seeing more of the wonderful pink scalp. Now, if I was a sun worshiper, sure, I could, I could tan that and it wouldn't be as prominent and it would probably look great against the white hair, but I'm not gonna destroy my skin just because I don't want a pink scalp. But you see that area right there? Let me see if I get the right angle. See that area right there? Right there. If I don't blow my hair a certain way, that will show. And there's hair there. I know it looks like I'm bald, but I'm not. That's just my natural part back there. And when I when I go to the hairdresser, I've got a big a big light shining on, on my face right now, so the, it's bouncing off the fibers of the hair. Let's see if that helps. I think you get the idea. Okay. So let me zoom back out. So here it is, the naked hair. <laughs> Virgin naked hair. I say virgin because she really has no hair color unless you want to consider whatever color is in the shampoo, but I don't consider that hair color. Okay. So now I'm just going to finish combing her out. Combing it out, I should say. My husband and I were talking the other night about that term bio hair. I think he, he heard me say it on one of my videos and, and I remember the first time I had heard it too and I'm like, bio hair? What's bio hair? Well, obviously bio hair is something what you're born with. This is what I was born with. Okay, so it's pretty flat, pretty limp, but now the hair shaft is open so now we want to put product in it. Now let me just grab my basket of goodies. And listen, you might be thinking, this is an awful lot of trouble just to have fuller, thicker hair. So remember, I'm, I'm not doing this treatment every single time I wash my hair. Once a week, maybe twice a week if it's really super hot and I've been perspiring or whatever, but generally once a week, I, my, uh, my routine is to wet my hair, wash the top, and the sides with the Neutrogena Clarifying Shampoo. That gets all the buildup up off of my scalp. Immediately after that, I will put the um, Balayage, one pump of the purple, about a pump and a half of the, um, the conditioner, mix them together, and then I'll work it all in up underneath, about halfway up my head, and I'll just do the nape all around the bottom of my head and the rest of my hair. Rinse that out, followed by the Design Silver uh, Conditioner, the blue one. 
remember the one that was blue in my hand that's it that's what I normally do okay so now I do this what I'm going to show you every single time so the very first thing that I do that I do next or that I was doing next and I made a video of this is I use I had been using I say had been I'll talk about that in a second the Kerastase it's a serum, but the thing about a serum, just like for your skin, you want to put it on absolutely clean, clean, no product yet on your scalp. So I bought this a few months ago and I used it faithfully every time I washed my hair. Now, I am not 100% sure I'm going to buy this again. Let me explain. I like this product, but I'm really not sure that it did anything to make my hair fuller. I've got a little tiny bit left. I can't even get it up, in, up into the... Well, it's hardly can get it up. In, well, now it's making a liar out of me. I've got a little bit left, and they call this a pipette. And what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to split your hair. Now, I already parted it on the left, so you're supposed to give yourself a parting on the left. Work it in a little bit. And then you're going to part it on the other side. Actually, you're going to part it in the middle. You could, it doesn't matter where you start. You could start on the left, start on the right, as long as you get it onto your scalp. But remember, it's got to be a perfectly clean scalp. And this is almost finished, this bottle. So you just fill the pipe up at pipe at pipe at up as best you can and then work it into your scalp. And then we're going to put it in on the right hand side. Same thing. It's starting to get very difficult to get it out when it gets toward the bottom. I think I'm going to have to just put it on my fingers and then pipe that in. And I know I'm not going to be able to get the last bit out. So the very final one, so you're doing four parts. One down the middle, one on each side, and you're going to do one right down the back, the middle of the back of your head. And for this one, I know I'm not going to be able to use this pipe at. So what I'm going to do what I'm going to do is just dump it. Woo! Now there's quite a bit in there still. So I've just dumped it into my fingers. Now I'm just going on either side. Work it into my scalp. So why aren't I going to continue using this? Because I want to see if there's a measurable difference if I stop using this product. It's very expensive. And if something isn't doing what it's saying it's going to do, then I don't want to keep buying it. But if it does, then I will. So, but again, I really won't know until, oh, I would say maybe two weeks from today. Because like I said, I wash my hair once, once a week. Okay. Okay. So that's in the hair. I'm going to comb that through. And again, my hair is still damp. If my hair starts to dry, and it will because it's, there's not much of it, so it dries quickly. Next thing I'm going to put in is by Lange, and it's called Thicket. So they have a little top here that you can ostensibly squirt it out it never comes out because it's so thick so what I normally do is I just take off the top and then I just tap it against my palm and I'm looking for about mm, not too much maybe about that much maybe about a dime's worth again my hair is not thick taking off my wedding ring and then Rub it into your hands, and now here's how you put it on. Place your hands along the sides of your head and just work up. So we've just worked it all into our hair. It's going to feel, your hands are going to feel a little sticky. Don't worry about it. Just keep 
Remember your hair is damp. If your hair at this point is getting almost dry, what you're going to do is just take some water, squirt it on your hands, moisten your hands, and you're going to feel that product is kind of going to reactivate because there's still a little bit. And then I do the back, do that area right up at the top. Just get it in, however way you can get it in. This product, this is my second bottle of this product. So I definitely see a difference when I use this, and I would definitely buy this again. Now my hands are almost free of that stickiness, but I still have a little bit left, so I'm going to put that up at the top, right there. Okay, it's pretty much off my hands. Just squirt my hands one more time and then remove the excess because I'm sure it's off. Okay, that's that part. So that's two things now that I've used. I've used the Kerastase and I've used the Lange. All right. The final thing ah, coffee, I love it. All right. The final thing is you won't believe this one. If you've seen me before, you know I love this stuff. This is called Lanza Keratin Healing Oil. This is my second bottle of this also. You're going to squirt it on your hair. Now the thing about this is this is going to protect your hair. I don't know if it says it on the bottle, but it is. it truly is a healing oil. It's going to keep the frizzies away. Distribute a small amount throughout damp or dry hair, blow dry or style as usual, and then it's got a whole different language, but it is a heat protectant, so uh, you don't have to put anything on, a spray or anything like that to protect your hair. This is going to do it for you. And I use about oh, a, a nickel's worth. If you have really super thick hair, maybe you're going to use a quarter's worth. Just work it into your hands. Let me quickly say, this is not going to make your hair greasy or oily. It is not. It, it's, a, it's like magic. Now, see my hair is already starting to frizz up. So I'm going to, again, place it on either sides of my head, work up. You can put this on dry hair. You can put this on towel damp hair. Matter of fact, after my hair is all, all dry, even sometimes after I've styled it, I will put this on. And the shine, but it's a different shine than the shine that's coming from that conditioner, uh, from the Design Silver conditioner. It's just, it's beautiful. But you know how sometimes you see people, especially older people, sorry everybody, but I'm one of those older people, and you look at their hair and you think, oh, what did they spray on their hair? They've got some kind of, excuse me, they've got some kind of fake spray on their hair. This is not that. It really looks like it's coming right from the interior shaft of the hair. A little bit more. I just keep working it in until I don't see the oil on my hands anymore. I just keep working it in. And I know what you're thinking. I can see that pink scalp. We're going to talk about that. Okay. I, I don't feel anything on my hands. They just feel silky and smooth. And now we're done with that. Now at this point, I will comb through. And again, you know, I'm talking and everything, but all these steps go very, very quickly. 
You know, that whole routine is going to take me two minutes. Make sure you have a wide tooth comb, everybody. Some kind of a wide tooth comb. Something, something, some kind of a wide tooth comb. Something. Okay. At this point, my hair next to my <clears throat> excuse me, next to my head is still pretty pretty damp. But this is almost dry. Now, let me show you real quick what happens since th this is almost dry. If I just put a little bit of the healing oil on that, look at the texture. Watch the texture. Look at that. It is not greasy. It is not oily. It is doesn't change the it doesn't change the density. It doesn't make your hair heavy or anything like that. But look at that. I hope you can see that. It just makes it look like corn silk. See? Now we're moving on to the next segment, which is one, get rid of the pink scalp. And two, styling. Okay, final segment now is styling. But before I style, I want to address that pink scalp, as I have already mentioned. So what I do is, and again, that, that top is almost dry. I use True Hair Color and Lift. True Hair Color and lift. I have also in the past used Kaboki and I have used Topic. I have used all three of these products. The one that I reach for over and over again is True Hair Color and Lift. So, now, I know that these are putting chemicals, talc, powders, whatever you want to call it, onto my scalp. I know that. I've been using them for quite a while with no ill effects. Disclaimer, disclaimer, I don't know whether you will have any ill effects. I have not had any ill effects. I'm not a hair expert. I'm not a cosmetician. I'm not a hairdresser. I'm just someone who, who needs some help with her hair. So I use this and I like it because I don't like to see that pink scalp. Now as it dries, remember I put the serum in. I wish that the sun was out today. I'm very disappointed. We're having a huge snowstorm in New York. There's not going to be any sun to be found anywhere because I was hoping I could go out and show you how it sparkles in the sun. Um, I will hope to do that one day this week on freshly washed hair um, and snap a photo in the sun so you can see how amazing it looks when the sun hits it. It's just beautiful. So... What I do, let me come back and give you the close-up. So what I do is I go split it down the middle first. Now, you know, you don't have to do this part, but I personally just don't like that pink scalp. I, I did a whole video on it. Comes with this swell brush. Watch my hand. See how it's depositing onto my hand? I'll link the video up there so you can see what I did. Okay, and these little tiny, teeny, tiny fibers, you can't even hardly see them, come out. And you just tap, 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 tap.
Just keep tapping. Tap and pull, tap and pull. Now, if you don't want to go through all that, you can certainly just take your topic. Make sure it's going, yep. And you could tap, tap, tap that, but I find that the topic has more, I don't know if you can see that, but it, it even feels, it just feels very thick and, and almost like there's little strings in it. And then the kabuki, kabuki, that one again has the little shaker thing see how quickly it comes out now that one is finer than the topic but none of them you can find my trash none of them are as fine as the true hair color and lift there's just i mean i could tap and tap and tap and tap and, to, and there's, I can't feel any stringiness or anything. And that's why I like it. Because it's going to deposit that on your scalp. But it's you're not going to sweat it off. If you get caught in the rain, it's not going to start dripping down your face. I, I think it's just a really beautiful product. So I put it in the middle. And I'll put it here. So I just kind of keep tapping it. Until until the pink is not as prominent. So I tap on the hairline or the part line and then I pull down. And then let me just do it on the right hand side. And it really does build up the hair too. It makes the hair fuller, thicker. And that's really where I need it. Do it the same over here. It doesn't hurt. You might think, is she hurting herself? No, I'm not hurting. Okay, so now it's in the part line, and now I'm just kind of working it through. If you buy this, do not unscrew this. All the powder is going to fall out. You unscrew it from right up here. You know what? Let me show you, because I've got black on. I'm going to show you on my shoulder. See if you can see that. See that? That's going on your head. You can't tell because your hair is all white. But trust me, it's going onto your head. <sighs> now I got a big white spot. <laughs> okay, I hope that makes sense. Now, if you want it right in the front, Same thing, just keep tapping. Trust me, it's going on there. And that's really where I love to put it, right there. And you can even see, if you look really, 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 really closely, you can see those little teeny tiny fibers. I could see it with my naked eye right here. Okay, so then when I'm done smushing, smushing, now I'm just going to push it back. Work it right into the hairline. And again, everybody, I'm talking and talking and telling and telling, but this takes moments. It doesn't take a lot of time, and it really makes me feel so less um, self-conscious. And listen, I know self-conscious is a form of vanity and pride. <laughs> I know that. But then why do we brush our teeth and why do we comb our hair? Please. All right. And then in the back, 
I'm going to do the same thing right on that problem spot. I know it's going. I really can't see it, but I know it's going on there. Usually I do this in the bathroom and I'm bending down and I'm able to see it and, you know, all that good stuff. Okay, so it's on and then the final thing I do is I just take a little bit of water. See, I can even see right there. I can see the white, but we're going to take care of that. And I just dampen my washcloth and I'm going to go all along that hairline and it is not going to fall into my eyes, into my... It's not going to fall down onto my forehead, I promise. So, that's it. I just go all along that hairline. See? And maybe a teeny tiny bit up into the widow's peak. And I'm done. With that. With that. With that part. You can see I'm getting a pretty good collection back there of things that I've used so far. And I will list them below for you in case you want to find them. So now, on to the styling. So my hair is all dry now and we're going to do styling in a moment. But if I was going to stay home all day, uh, I would leave it like this and just let it dry naturally, you know, put the as I just showed you, put the true color and lift in, um, but just let it breathe, so to speak. I will show you what I do if I, if I want a little bit more style, but for really special occasions, I will use my Dyson, which you, which you see right there in that beautiful brown leather box. My husband bought me that one year for my birthday. Wow. And, and it really does make beautiful curls. I will put a link up there for you in case you're interested in seeing that. And a lot of body and a lot of shine. But let's see how the back looks. And again, there's that problem spot, always and forever. But what I do is I just comb it over. I mean, just basically fluff up the hair from underneath. And if I wanted to be really picky fussy, I could put some some more I could put some more true hair color and lift right there but I typically don't need it but I would if I was going to a wedding and I didn't want to have a wig on or something like that so okay so I just comb my hair like that it's so hard to do it in the mirror in the with the mon so hard to do it with the monitor so just comb it like that as best I can come down like that just give it a little shake and you can really see how silky it is. I mean, it's look at the watch when I rake, when I bring the comb through. Look at that shine. Okay, so I'll just take this part right here and then I'll just spray it. And I usually use a pretty strong holding spray in that spot. Which one? Got to be glued, our friend. Stop a bird in flight, hairspray. <laughs> All right. So, I'll just basically put it towards the back of my hair, and then have one more look, 
make sure no bald spots are showing or pink make sure no pink spots are showing and that's basically it now my hair is bone straight right now And yes, I see that right there. I see that. What I will do with that spot is I'll just let the hair spray dry and then I'll comb it again and then I'll spray it one more time. And those pink spots will go away. If I absolutely have to, I'll get in the mirror and put some more true hair and lift on those pink spots. But really, it's, it's fine. Final thing I want to show you if you don't want to go to too, too much trouble styling your hair. And again, I try to use hot tools as little as possible. But remember, I've already put the Lange healing oil on it, so it is protected from hot tools. But what I do, if I'm going out of the house and I don't want to wear a wig and I want to have a little bit of style, maybe I'm going to a meeting, I'm going out to dinner, whatever, wherever I'm going, I'll take this piece right here. Just a small piece of my bang area. And of course, I've already sprayed it, so let's take that piece of my bang area, comb it out a little bit. And then I'll just dampen it a little bit, dampen it a little bit with my fingers, not too much. Then take one of these big brushes. Always go in the opposite direction from where you want the lift. Right? If you want you want the lift at the root right here, you're gonna push it in the opposite direction of where you want the lift. And then take my hair dryer Now make sure you're coming at it from both directions. I'm coming at it from this end and I'm coming at it from this end. At the very end I'm going to give it a cold shot for about 20 seconds to set the curl. Here we go. Just a tiny little piece of hair, but believe me, it makes a difference. So then, that's done. And then while I'm putting on the rest of my makeup, I'll just take one of these sponge rollers. Then I'll take a hair clip and poke it right through that hole. Now, I don't use the clip that comes with these because it doesn't really hold it super solid firm. So I like to have it nice and solid while I'm walking around the house. I might leave it there for an hour while I'm cooking, whatever it is that I'm doing. Okay. And then as far as the rest of it goes, like I said, I'll just leave it like that. Or if I want to have a little bit of curl on the end, wet it, take a big brush, hairdresser told me years ago aim toward the ground aim toward the ground so get your hair in there I don't put it on high heat now I'm going to put it on medium heat and medium air you're going to see the difference between this, this side here and the other side up underneath up underneath I'm going to give it a cold shot now, on high, reduce it to meet to low, and that's it. You've got to give it that cold shot because and for years I didn't know that. If you don't give it the cold shot, it's not going to set the curl or the wave, whatever it is you're, you're going for. Okay, so then that's about all the bend that I want, right? But you can see, look how pretty that looks, right? So again, if I was going to go out to dinner, whatever, I would do that all around my head. I have to tell you, I really hate blowing out my hair, 
First of all, I feel like it sucks out all the moisture you've tried so hard to put in. But it does give a nice, a nice finished look to the hair. Okay, so after I'm done doing that, Again, check out my Dyson video because Dyson does a beautiful job of uh, putting a, a gorgeous soft curl into the hair and it polishes the hair, it makes it shiny, it's just beautiful. All right, so then pretend I've had this in for however long I've had it in. And then what I'll do is I'll just incorporate that bang into the rest of my hair. And it really does work well after it's been in there for a while. Pull this part down a little bit more to give it more fullness. And I just kind of push it over like that. Now, this is the part of Kerastase that I'm wondering about because Tomorrow, and then I hit it with, some, with a little bit of uh, got to be glued. So it's not going to fall down. Not too much, just, just a little bit. Okay, and that is basically it. That's it. Oh, so I started to say what, I, what I'm interested to see is tomorrow because this usually happens. Day two, like many of us, my hair looks better. I don't know whether it's because it's got all this product in it, but I don't know whether it's that Kerastase serum. And I think that my hair really does feel thicker the next morning. So I have maybe one more application of Kerastase left, and then I'm going to stop using it for probably a month or so and just see if I notice any different difference see if I notice any difference on day two. Before I finish this video, I want to just show you on this side what the Dyson does on a couple of areas of curl. That's coming straight ahead. Okay, the very final thing I want to show you is putting in some body and wave or curl with the Dyson. The Dyson comes in that box, well, when I received it as a gift, it came in that beautiful leather box. I don't think that leather box is available any longer. The very first thing I want to show you is you can, here's the Dyson, and these attachments go on right there. This is obviously the brush to build the body. Let me move closer. So what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of uh, water to the crown of my head. Now that hairspray has all been dried now, so that ought to help it maintain a little bit of lift. Okay, so we want to have some body up there. So I'll spray the front a little bit, spray the back a little bit, and I'm also going to spray the edge of the hair. Comb it through. This would be when your hair is wet to blow body into the hair. Okay, here we go. It is on high. Everything is on high. Remember my healing oil? I've used that. Here we go. It's already dry. And I'm going to do it again, and I'm going to put a cold shot at the very end. Cold shot. Three elephant, four elephant, five elephant, six elephant, seven elephant, eight elephant, nine elephant, ten. Okay. And there, you can see, we've got some lift. I'm not raking through it, I'm just... 
basically coming over it like like you would if you teased your hair. Okay, now the other thing that I want to show you on which side did I not style? On this side, I'll show you how <clears throat> we make a curl or a wave, whatever you want. With the Dyson, you're taking a small amount of hair at a time. That is the secret to getting a curl. So again, you're going to wet the hair. That's why I always keep this little spray bottle. Now the hair is not sopping wet. It is it's damp. Okay, so to do the curl, you're going to remove the brush and then you're going to put on the curl roller. Now you want to look closely. You see how those arrows are going that way? That's, that's the direction that the curl is going to go in and that's the direction I want. There's two sizes, this size and this size. I usually use the bigger size. Okay, get your hair, your damp hair. I've already moistened it. I'm going to comb it one more time. I've still got quite a bit of hair here. So I'm going to just take it from right high up on the shaft and hold it. And it just sucks the hair right in. It's pretty amazing. I've got too much. That's why it's this piece is falling down. But watch what happens. Watch how it's polishing the hair. It's literally polishing the hair. I'm going to give it a cold shot just to set it. And I know it's done, but... show you with another piece. Let me just wet it. Just wet the ends. You just want to take small sections and it is time consuming but oh my is it ever worth it. And it stays, it stays like for hours and hours. The curl is not going to, let me see what direction it's in. The curl is not going to come out. And even sometimes day two, I'll still have a considerable amount of wave in my hair. It's amazing. See how you can push and pull. And when you do that, it's polishing the hair. Oh, this gives it a beautiful finish. Especially after you've taken all that time and put, put in all that beautiful product. It's going to sparkle out in the sunshine. Give it a cold shot. So it comes with two sizes of curlers. It comes with this to give you fullness. It comes with this kind of a brush if you're just blowing out a smooth look. This would be for finer hair like mine. It comes with another, um, if you've got super thick hair, this is going to give you just, if you're just doing a regular blowout, straightening out. And then here's just the dryer attachment. If you just wanted to use it just as a dryer, there's the dryer attachment. It's really an all-purpose tool. You can have all the curler attachments and the dryer attachment. Or you could just use the old-school round brush with a hair dryer, whatever you want. Okay, so at this point I'll usually put a little bit more 
healing oil if I see anything I don't like, like frizzies or... I don't really see any frizzies. But there's something so different, everyone, about when you're doing it for the camera, when you're doing it just as you normally do in your, in your bathroom mirror. If you're a content creator, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So there, I put a little bit more of that healing oil. It, and you can see it doesn't look greasy at all. It just looks healthy. I just wish there was more of it. And so I'll do one more spin. All right, that concludes the exhaustive, I don't know what to call it. It's not a tutorial, it's, it's really not a review, it's just how I make my limp, lifeless, thin hair, which is white, look what I know to be the best that it can be. Sunday Spa will be in every other week feature. And if you want to track what's happening with my hair, you'll be able to see what's happening with my hair. If you have any questions about products that I'm using on my hair, I'm going to, I'm going to start adding different things in and testing them. I'll have to do some research before I do that because I, I don't know. The things that I'm using now, I've been using for the last... Probably, I think I bought Kerastase about six months ago. I'll have to check that. But if you're interested, follow me. I know a lot of you out there have hair, so you're interested in the bio hair videos. And a lot of you don't have hair. You're just interested in the wigs. I get that. But I do have subscribers who are interested in both. I'm interested in both. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm going to be about this next coming year. Every other Sunday, I will do Sunday Spa and give you the update on my hair. I can see that white spot there. That's from the, <laughs> that's from that powder. But that just goes to show you how it's how it stays there and it doesn't drip down. And if you do get any kind of a white patch up there, or whatever, just take a little foundation or some powder and just pop it on there. That's just flashback from. Um, from the camera. Let's see. I think that's it. Oh, the only other thing that I wanted to say is um, I have no makeup on other than what I showed you at the very beginning of the video. I have my lip gloss on and I have my CC Your Skin But Better cream because it's got an SPF 50. That's all I'll wear around the house. If I'm going to hop on um, a meeting really quickly and it's not a YouTube video hair review per se. I might take a little bit of eye eyeliner and just hit it there. A little bit of mascara, a tiny little bit of um, eyeshadow just right at the rim of my lashes. Tiny little bit of blush, not too much. It takes me all of three minutes. But by and large when I'm home I like to let my hair breathe, I like to let my skin breathe and um, it's all good and it's all easy and I really do find that the older we get the less we put on our skin the better off we are. I recently tried using um, what do you call it, an, eye, an eye primer and the younger girls can put it all over their lids and all the way up to the brow bone. Well I did that and all I saw was crepey skin so that was a that was a note to self less is more so thanks so much for watching, everybody. If you like, give it a like, hit the little bell icon, and subscribe. And remember, 
always, always look for the silver lining. It's always there. Bye-bye.